So we caught a mouse in the mouse trap, and now it's time to give it to the frog. Mouse time. Oops. Frogs love mice. This is an albino Argentine horn frog. And she's so happy for the snack today. Like, wow, thank you for the mouse. They have a big mouth, you know. You have to be careful with these frogs. You can't, it's hard to keep them together because you can see what a big mouth they have. They can literally eat each other. When the frog goes to swallow, its eyes push down on into the mouth to push the food down its throat. So when you're watching a frog like this, gulping food. It's going to gulp this and shove it into its mouth. Sometimes they use their little feet to shove the food into their mouth more. And then they uh, swallow. And when they swallow, you see the eyes go down in the head to push the food, help push the food down the throat. So that's a big mouthful. But they can literally eat another frog almost their same size. They're all mouth. Now the horned frog sits still and hides in the weeds or mud with just the top of its eyes sticking out. It's like an ambush predator. They just sit there and wait for something to come by. And as soon as something comes by, they jump on it and start gulping it down. So they, they hide in the mud and in the moss and they just sit still. They're a big old fat frog with little bee legs. Look how little bee the legs are. And they're super fat. A lot of people keep these beautiful frogs for pets. Of course, it's an Argentine horn frog, so they come from South America, Argentina. Look what a mouth. He almost bit his hand. Huh? He almost bit his hand. Oh, no, he, he wasn't biting his hand. He was using his hand to push that in his mouth. So he used a little hand sometimes to help them when they have such a huge mouthful. This could take a little minute to gulp all this down. You know, the frog's in no hurry. But I wanted you to see it swallow this thing all the way down. Might take a minute. There's a lot of frogs in the world thousands of species of frogs, all different kinds. Frogs are a great barometer to check for um, poisoning in the environment, you know. If you see dead frogs in the water or dead frogs laying around, because the frog doesn't just drink water or doesn't usually drink water at all, he soaks it up through his skin like a sponge. And when the water soaks up through his skin, if there's anything toxic in the water, it can kill the frog. So if you see dead frogs or you see deformed frogs, you know there's a problem. Frogs really show the evidence of pollution in the environment. This one's going to gulp this mouse down, no problem. They eat stuff like this all the time. They don't eat every day, of course. They're, you know, it takes a while to digest this meal. Probably several days to digest this, so... After this frog eats this mouse, it probably won't want anything to eat for a few days. There it got the head in. It's all downhill from there. Yep, the frogs love to hear the mouse trap go off. We had some kind of uh, invasion the last couple days. We've actually trapped a couple mice in the house. And so they come in anytime, you know, looking for some food. And my, mice can do so much damage. You really got to trap them right away. They actually ruin more stuff than they eat or anything. It's not that they eat so much. They just spoil everything, ruin it by getting into it. So we're going to trap them anytime we see one come in and, hey, waste not, want not, give it to the frog. 
We raise some uh, domestic rats to feed these animals. We don't just depend on the wild caught mouse. But when we catch one, hey, let's, let's utilize that protein source and feed it to the frog. You can feed these frogs just meat on the end of the tongs. They'll eat a piece of raw chicken or a piece of meat like that. But if you're feeding them meat, you have to put a little calcium on it. They make powdered calcium for your reptiles and amphibians that you can put on that meat because uh, vitamin rich too, you know, uh, vitamin rich calcium. Because just raw meat is not a whole animal. These animals are used to eating whole animals in the wild. They gulp down a lot of other smaller animals invertebrate they'll eat crayfish and um, insects and all different types of invertebrate worms caterpillars and of course other frogs and of course even a mouse if it gets too close you know when i was just a boy <clears throat> i was in a pond and i found a green frog which is similar to a bullfrog but only about half its size it's called a green frog it's a native frog so I caught this frog and I thought it had a string hanging out of its mouth. And when I pulled on the string, it was actually the tail of a jumping mouse. We have little tiny jumping mice that jump like a little tiny kangaroo. And these mice have a super long tail. And that's what was sticking out of his mouth. That was the first time I realized, I was just a little boy, that frogs love to eat mice. The wild frogs eat them all the time. The mouse gets too close to the Argentine horn frog. He's going to gulp that bad boy right down. Frogs are so neat. And pet frogs are fun to keep. These are a really good type pet frog because they don't require uh, a lot of room because they don't, they're not an active animal um, in the wild. They just bury in the mud. So you can keep a horned frog like this in a, in a nice bowl you know we keep ours in a bowl of clear water because the frogs like i mentioned earlier that they have a low tox low ability for toxicity so you can't have dirty water with a frog you must have clean water and if you put them in a big terrarium with a bunch of dirt and a bunch of other things in there you know gravel and stuff that can hold filth when the frog uses the bathroom it's difficult to clean so we, if we keep them in clear water, we easily see when the water gets a little bit foul, and so we can change the water. And we often change the water on these frogs daily. We just dump out the old and put in a little new. And we get these frogs when they're very small. When we got this frog, it was, you know, like the end, the size of my thumbnail. It was a little bitty frog. And now it's getting big enough to eat a whole mouse. And it's going to get even bigger than this. It, it'll get probably twice this big. And they can live for years. And you can have a pet frog sitting on your counter for years. They're just so fascinating and beautiful. Look at them gulping away on this mouse here. You know what the monkey said when he got his tail stuck in the lawnmower? It won't be long now. It won't be too long. He's getting it down there, baby. It's kind of a slow process. We're eight minutes into the frog eating the mouse. Not too slow for a frog that does nothing. Huh? Yeah, not too slow for a frog that does nothing. Hey, when was the last time you sat down and ate in eight minutes? Yeah, we take a little time to eat too. We chew our food. We don't just gulp our animals down whole like the frog does. What a beautiful creature. This is an albino Argentine horn frog. The scientific name is Ceratopsis orinata. Scientific or Latin name for this type of frog. Argentine horn frog or ornate horn frog. What a beautiful camouflage animal. You can just imagine this hiding in some green mud with just its eyes sticking out. Any animal would just walk right up to it and not even notice it's sitting there so motionless. And then, of course, it has that big ravenous mouth. It's going to just grab it and gulp it down. Do they have teeth? They, have, they don't have teeth like for chewing, but they do have rigid little t teeth like on the edge of that jaw. 
for grabbing. Yeah. Just little sharp protrusions for holding on to stuff. A little like a little, it feels a little rough, like a little um, saw blade almost. They can bite pretty good. If you stick your finger in there, you can get bit by a frog. No, thanks. You don't want to try it? Mm -hmm. Okay, Mama. We'll not uh, stick our fingers in the mouth of the horn frog. But they try to pick them up. They don't offer to bite or anything. But if you wiggled your finger in front of his mouth, it would surely grab it because they have, they like to gulp anything down that they can fit in that big mouth. It's going down. One gulp at a time. Fascinating creature. Argentine horned frog. Like any frog, they lay eggs and then they have little tadpoles and the tadpoles transform into a little frog. People raise them in captivity so we can have pet frogs in our house. <laughs> what a fun thing to have. A pet frog. It's a great pet for someone with an apartment or somebody who doesn't have a yard, you know, to let your dog out. You have to let your dog out. And let me tell you, if you go away for a couple of days, your frog's not going to care about that. He's not worried what you're doing. Another good gulp. Slowly going down the hatch. Just a little butt of the frogs. I mean, a little butt of the mouse sticking out with his little tail. One back foot sticking out. One big gulp. That thing might go down. Oh, I see both feet are sticking out. One's down underneath the frog's foot there. Waiting for them last gulps and then the eyes to push down for the final swallow. And the tail will have to be gulped down too. Got to get every bit of that in there. It must be rough swallowing something with a tail hanging out of your mouth. No teeth to bite that right off. That teeth, you could chew that tail right off. Won't have to worry about it. He had chewing type teeth, but he doesn't have those. No molars on the Argentine horn frog. Maybe go up your little mouse all the way down. <laughs> Frog's got his little back legs sprawled out there, like stretching out to get the whole thing down in there. Must be crazy to eat an animal that's like a third your size. Swallow it whole.
15 minutes into a snack here. beautiful animal. Almost gone. About time for a big swallow there, buddy. Set up a little bit there. We're getting ready to push those eyeballs down and shove that thing down his throat. The eyeballs sink down when they really swallow hard. You see the eyeballs push down on the top of the head. What a crazy way to eat. What a sense of humor God must have, huh? Making all these interesting, fascinating creatures. Such beautiful camouflage-looking creatures. Use your camouflage to hide and ambush other animals. Still working? Still working. Just the feet sticking out and the tail. Almost to go on. Bird's eye view of the Argentine horn frog mouse eater here. That's arranging those feet to get all that down, you know. Let's turn around and get all that down here. What a thing to eat. See the eyes go down just a little bit when it gulped a little bit? The eyes put pressure. 
help it swallow. Watch for those eyes to go down as that thing swallows. Just the last little bit of the mouse going down. See the eyes kind of go down there? We'll take a little gulp, now just the tail sticking out. It's gonna do a couple more gulps here. And the mouse is all going. This little tail now. Interesting watching the Argentine horn frog, 20 minutes to swallow a mouse whole. Oh, the mouse about a third the size of the frog, I would say. Yep, we have another horned frog over here that's excited to eat another mouse. So maybe we catch another mouse, we'll feed it to the other frog. They can take turns gulping down the mice. See the eyes go down when the thing takes a swallow. It aids in pushing the food down the throat. The pressure from the eyes going down. You can actually up in the roof of the mouth see the little bulges, little round spots where the eyes can come down. Just got that tail sticking out. It's got to be aggravating, man, trying to eat something with a long tail. I'll tell you, when I found that green frog, that tail was so long, there was no way that frog was getting that down. You see how the frog kind of distorted its body? It's trying to turn around and get that thing to move around in its stomach to where that tail goes on down. It's got its body all distorted here. Just the tip of the tail sticking out. Not much else to see here. I guess, see the eyes go down one more time. She's just gonna sit here and gulp until this tail is completely gone. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the watching the horned frog eat a mouse. It's a good day. Every day is a good day. God is good all the time. Have an awesome, blessed rest of your day. See you soon.